Hey everybody, my name is Sam and welcome back to Green Acre Homestead. Welcome to the next part in the series where we are taking this storage shed and converting it into a fully climate controlled, insulated, fancy pants place for my wife to have a home office for her soap making business. In this episode, I'm going to be installing a Brown, Brown, Broan, Broan, what is it? Model 509 through the wall exhaust fan or bathroom fan. If you're interested for this or just want to hang out a little bit as I do some more work in the soap shed, stay tuned. This fan is the model 509 from Brown or Broan. I don't know how you pronounce it, where you are or where they are. It is designed to go through the wall of a structure and ventilate your space. Starting off by unpacking everything, you'll find in the box you have the fan itself, you have the exterior flashing hood shroud portion and you have the grill and then a little electrical box with a couple of little connectors and bits in there. While we are using this fan in a soap shack out here which is a storage shed we're converting this is designed for residential use so you can use this in your home, in your bathroom, in your bedroom, anywhere you need ventilation, possibly also in your kitchen. Maybe your house is so old it didn't come with a range vent. You know whatever any place you need ventilation or a little bit of air extraction for whatever reason this fan will work. In that box as well, you're going to find a piece of cardboard with a circular cutout. Save it. That is to be used for your cutting template. It's a perfect size to trace the circle, cut the hole, and fit the wall thimble through from the outside and connect the fan up in your home or structure you're working in. can't even see that. My pencil's sharp. What, what is this, some anti-pencil mark wall stuff? Jeez. Huh, I forgot a marker. Yeah, this screw keeps it from drying out and I can use this tube over and over and over. Cool. And it comes out looks like and it comes out like they've never been used. Mm -hmm. like to do a double layer up top because that's where the water will hit and try and run in. Ew. This stuff is called through the roof. It's perfect for sealing anything that's going to be exposed to heat and rain and the elements. Good stuff. 
Let me take this outside and screw it to the building. On the inside of your structure is where you have to spend a little more time as far as figuring out the mounting depth for your wall cavity, punching out the little breakout tabs, and assembling the fan unit inside the thimble. They kind of slide together and interlocked with a couple of screws. down the wall and the inside <sighs> all the way to the bottom dang it that's gonna be there for a while once you have that in place then you want to go ahead and start wiring this thing up for that you're going to need wire nuts and a wire thimble or clamp I don't remember what they're called, but it's basically the thing that goes in the little circle knockout hole for the metal box and allows the wire to be clamped and held in place and also not rub on the side, causing out a short air possibly burning the place down. I was kind of bummed out this fan kit didn't come with the wire nuts and the thimble for the electrical junction box, but what you gonna do? Extra things to buy. You're already gonna need the exterior sealant and screws as well, so there's a couple extra things to add to your shopping list. Sorry. Not the time to install this but if I don't do it now I'm afraid I'm going to lose it or it might get stepped on and broken so to save the pieces for later and to I don't know give it a nice little finish touch here I'm gonna go ahead and install the trim piece with the center knob or uh, it's not a knob it's actually kind of like a thumb screw type thing holds the grill on it doesn't control it or anything though There we go. So that's how you install a through the wall bath fan or exhaust fan. This is the second one that I've installed. I put one in my workshop just like this, the exact same way, but mounted it higher up on the wall to extract the hot air in the summertime. And it's worked great ever since. So I knew that this is also gonna be a good model in here for the soap shack as well. We don't have the power hooked up just yet, so we can't fully test it and high five 
each other over its operation but that day is very very quickly coming so stay tuned to see the fan in action if you really want to see it uh, otherwise that is how you install a through the wall exhaust fan or bathroom fan hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video if you have any questions or comments leave them down below we appreciate you watching as always and see you guys next time on the homestead